very confusing scene because there were no skid marks. There were no brake marks. On March 26, 2018, an SUV was spotted in the Pacific Ocean, 100 feet below a cliff in Northern California. Investigators soon found the bodies of Jennifer and Sarah Hart and three of their adopted children. But their other three kids were still missing, including 15-year-old Devante. Every memory I have of them is just a big hug. They seemed like the picture-perfect family, but as the investigation into their deaths unfolded, it became clear they were anything but. Devante once went to a neighbor for help. Devante coming over here and telling us that, you know, he's being starved to death and they're mean. Over the years, several of the kids said they were being abused. And in 2011, Sarah pleaded guilty to domestic assault. The filmmakers behind A Threat of Deceit, The Hart Family Tragedy, spoke with several people who knew the Hart family. I unfortunately think something horrible happened to him. They both decided that this was going to be the end. Investigators say Jennifer and Sarah intended to kill themselves and their six kids. They discovered Sarah used her phone to make some disturbing searches in the days before they died, including drowning, hypothermia, and death by Benadryl. Sarah's body was found to have deadly levels of Benadryl in her system, and at least some of the children had it in their systems too. Months after they disappeared, the bodies of two of the other missing children were recovered. But to this day, Devante has never been found. Last year, a jury in the coroner's inquest ruled all the children were killed by their parents. With respect to Abigail Hart, the finding is at the hands of another, Marcus Jeremiah Sierra Hannah Devante Hart. The finding is at the hands of another.